When I talk in one of the memoirs about how uh, I visited uh, some people in prison, and then, for example, there, when uh, uh, Paco and I were detained for about six or seven hours, that is actually true. I mean, I, I, I was. And so I, I, I even say, for example, that somewhere in, in the salt mines in, in the Dakotas, there's probably a file with my name on it. Uh, but uh, some of the things, you know, uh, in one of the later memoirs, I have, you know, like some men in black talking about me or whatnot. This is to give a sense of the late 20th century milieu of paranoia. Um, uh, when I do talk about um, uh, uh, aliens and whatnot, when I was a kid, for example, some of the, some of the things that I described, for example, when I drowned in the lake, I saw, I, I, I you know, I had this dream of the, meeting these odd, what I call feline-looking children. It wasn't until about a decade later that I found out, and it was it was some book. It was a, a book written by a woman. I later found out was named. I had forgotten named Addie Ken John uh, Addie Ken Jeffrey. She wrote about paranormal stuff, and this is where I first heard the tale of so-called green kids. Now, in the 1970s or 80s, and this is I'm digressing, but for a reason. In the 1970s or 80s, there were lots of these paperback books. My I'm, I'm writing in my current spy book uh, about Bit von Rheingold, the dwarf, who who also had his was, was publishing a lot of these crap books, and you would get these these legends from centuries ago or from decades ago about people. And it's interesting to see how they mutated online because it wasn't until the mid 90s or so that the, these legends of green kids who showed up out of a mine shaft and claimed to have been from another world uh, was, was specifically located, I believe, in Scotland or Wales. Before that, I had read versions of the stories that these kids showed up in Spain and they showed up in uh, France and all over Europe. But... Uh, but I had had this, this very similar kind of dream or, or experience when I had was drowning. My, my mind obviously produced it. I don't think that I, I really met the, these uh, otherworldly children. But it's interesting because this is why I've always thought that people who have claimed to be abducted by aliens or, or uh, uh, you know, people who claim to have had sex with, uh, with uh, incubi or succubi, these are all versions of how people interpret the way their brain works. You see Jesus Christ, another guy sees Buddha. I, you know, I see utter blankness or whatnot. 